what's up guys and welcome back to another video today we will be doing life hacks well actually not really life hacks it's some more tips and tricks but you roughly get the idea so what we have here is I'm going to show you how to mirror your Android phone screen how many times have you had to use a camera just to show the audience something for example you're doing an app review and you don't have you never rooted your device if you're like me you probably regret rooting or not so what we have here is um, a tool you can actually use to record your screen so it's called mobizen and um, this is the URL mobizen.com slash look da 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 this is the URL that you want to go to and when you go to mobizen so let's just press start link will be in the description now you have to create an account and download the plugin for Windows or Mac. So if you select for Windows, it will ask you to save a file. Now install. Now installation is self-explanatory, so I'll not go into detail. And next you want to go get is the app download. So go to the Play Store and download the app. Mobizen Beta, the Life Hub. That's the one. And now we can get started. So first of all, you have to open the app to create an account. Now, what I have is my account, and right now it's loading. It works. All right. So let's focus on what we have here. So what we have here is basically your file manager. Think of it something like your file manager where you can explore your smartphone actually it's more like a smartphone on your pc so you can have your music you see that pretty cool animation that resembles android a bit so that's nice and here we have my song library now i'm not going to show you the whole thing and we have photos, videos, self-explanatory. Uh, don't want to show things because I have um, some private stuff inside there. And we have the files, which are all your different files. So let's take a look at one of them, APK Extractor. Different APKs are extracted, so here you go. And your settings. So self-explanatory, general themes, Remote control and clear notice. It's a very basic. The themes. These are your themes. So basically, that are the backgrounds. You can select this, and you can select the font as well. What's handy is that it also provides you with details about your phone. For example, how much space you have left. Like I have only, I have less than a gigabyte of space. All right, let's take a look at the emulator. So an emulator is basically a mirror of your Android device. What you're seeing on screen is what I'm seeing on my phone, except I'm seeing with better, um, smoother frame rates. So, let's unlock. This is my home screen. I'm using the Google Now Launcher, as I shown you in my previous video, Android 4.4 KitKat, and it's um relatively smooth. Not really. It can get pretty choppy, and that's the uh, one downside of this app. Now, this, as you know, it's in beta and it's still being developed. But for a beta product, it seems pretty good. So let's take a look at um, an app like 2048. This is a very, very simple game. It doesn't use too much memory resources. So let's see how it does. Now, I'm going to start playing. And as you can see, well, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. I'll try to slow down. The computer freeze? No, it's not. I'm gonna freeze. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
so it's kind of laggy but it works and hopefully this will get better in um, future versions I'm not gonna bore you guys too much if you want this app you can check it out for yourself link is in the description so now let's take a look at something else for instance I want to use uh, okay let's just say we were in um, 2048 and now I'll show you this different button so what you see is a snapshot whiteboard full screen input text snapshot self-explanatory it just takes a screen capture whiteboard now this is pretty cool what it does is it allows you to use your phone like whiteboard where for instance you're in like circle of features for example you can adjust you can change the volume here so that's nice it's not working oh there it is it's terrible you have the score here the gameplay here all that kind of stuff and the funny and the best thing is you can actually still use your phone normal with these drawings so that's whiteboard next we have full screen full screen self-explanatory but it's really awesome so it basically shows a full screen view and it works in both portrait and landscape so let's open up spotify for example for instance spotify works in both portrait and landscape so oh, interesting i haven't researched searching for day phase here. Now if I want to go landscape, I will just rotate it and it will just fit the screen. So this is very, um, it works very well. Now all this is done over Wi-Fi. So it can be a bit choppy. If you use USB, um, it should be better. As you saw, it's a very simple app. All, the main purpose of it is to emulate your screen. This app works relatively well. It doesn't work 100% and I'm sure there are better alternatives. But for what it's worth and how easy it is to set up, definitely check it out.